Ladies and gentlemen, let's now move on to another equally fascinating story of a young boy. They call him a genius. You know, I, I don't think I've ever met a genius. Maybe Jiddu Krishnamurti once. But after him, uh, we have young Harshvardhan Zala. So before we get to his story, let's watch a lovely video. Currently accepted landman detection technology has an accuracy of 51%. My invention is a drone, which has an accuracy of 93%. It is a unique device which detects and destroys not only metal but plastic landmines as well. आने तो नान पन थी ना जिस बस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक रोमकड़ा साथे जी खेल तो रहे हो सब पहलू है ना जब प्रोजेक्ट बनाये हो हाँ टीवी पची फैन ट्यूबलाइट बदु जे टीवी रिमोट थी कंट्रोल करी सके हो पची एम करता पास बिजात रिजात दिव से ने पोता नू एफएम बनाये हो रेडियो इतने मने तो आम ये वो फील था इसे ने कि मारा कुटुम में कोई इंजीनियर न थी तो आ तो अम्मे ये वो फील था इसे कि गॉड गिफ्ट चे। When I started working on landmine detecting device, I had a vision but no resources. Luckily, my parents gave me a loan to complete this project. I had to start from scratch, engineering, programming, robotics, and so on. So I would spend up to 12 hours a day in cyber cafe learning from the internet. और सो दिन के सारे टीचर्स उससे नाराज रहते थे क्योंकि वो होमवर्क नहीं करता था और क्लास में अटेंड भी पूरा नहीं था लेकिन जब एग्जाम आती तो एग्जाम के कुछ दिन पहले वो पूरा सिलेबस पढ़ के वो एग्जाम में पास हो जाता था तब हमें रियलाइज हुआ कि वो तो जेनियस ही है आई टुक लेसन फ्रॉम हिम फॉर माई इंजीनियरिंग एग्जाम एंड थैंक्स टू हिज आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स अप्रोच दैट आई पास मैं हर्षवर्धन सजेशन घना मरा कॉलेज फ्रेंडों ने आप एम से ट्यूशन क्लासेस लीजिए जस्ट इमेजि आठ म धोर छोकर एमटेक स्टूडेंट ने भावे दिस ट्यूशन क्लासेस हेल्प मी टू रीपे द लोन एंड आई मेनेज टू कम्प्लीट थ्री प्रोटोटाइप्स ऑफ माइ इन्वेन्शन करंटली आई एम वर्किंग विथ द इंडियन गवर्मेंट द आर्मी एंड सी आर पी एफ टू क्लियर द लैंड माइंड्स इन इंडिया आफ्टर देट आई विल मेक दिस टेक्नोलॉजी अवेलेबल टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड माइ गोल इज टू क्रिएट टेक्नोलॉजिकल सोल्यूशंस to save thousands of lives across the world and this is just the beginning Harsh what can i say i wish when i was young you had been my tutor i may have done better in my exams but anyway uh so what is this they're calling you a genius and uh, you gifted or is it hard work or what is it so both actually in my opinion there is a 30% god gift and 70% is uh, our own hard work 70% hard work right words of wisdom from a young man so how did you get interested in making things and doing things uh, so when i was uh, too young uh, when i was 10 years old i was really interested in technology and electronics and always want to tinker with any uh, little electronics items that i could found and i'm breaking up out things and m- making the simple thing the ordinary things into extraordinary thing and make it uh, more useful so i completed many projects and uh, uh, by the time i was 12 i completed uh, 42 uh, daily life useful projects and eight uh, robots 42 projects eight robots You you dropped out of school to do all this? I uh, no actually I used to manage my school and my work uh, in uh, in daily routine so uh, I I was uh, uh, my daily schedule was uh, uh, 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. so where what? I manage both the things That's what how many hours? Uh 17, 17 hours. Uh, yeah. What do you were eating something special or what? No actually my mom grabs me that I'm not eating much. You're not eating much. Yeah. Well, she's probably right, right. but uh, there's some magic in you. So tell tell us what happened next. So uh, in the same month, uh, they turned uh, in July 2015. I say in what a in, coincidence. Yeah. Huh? You so, didn't make it up, no? <laughs> no? Okay. So in July 2015, I seen a video on YouTube. Uh, many soldiers are detecting 
uh, landmines. So there was an, a demonstrating video. So they are detecting the landmines, and suddenly one landmine exploded. So uh, from that, I uh, started researching on this uh, landmine issue. So I found that there is a big uh, problem uh, around the world, and many Indian soldiers and civilians uh, dies because of uh, this uh, landmine threat. So then I took a challenge to uh, develop something which can not only detect landmines, uh, metal landmines, but all kinds of landmines, and not only detect it, but it can destroy uh, in the real time uh, without any human risk. Uh, very impressive, but w yeah. where did you get all this knowledge to do this? So I used to spend my 12 hours a day in cyber cafe, uh, uh, learning from the internet. So I used to go to cyber cafe with my grandfather and uh, uh, learn everything from the internet and uh, write it all, all the things in a book and refer it and make uh, something new uh, from the basics. Wow. Now, you formalized all this into a company, right? Right. So Being a Gujarati, I guess you uh, <laughs> have that, have yeah. that skill. So right. tell us about the company. So I found a company a year ago uh, called Aerobotics Seven. And who is the chairman? Uh, so actually, I'm the founder and CEO of oh. this company. <laughs> okay. So the chairman's <laughs> post is vacant for any uh, angel investor. Okay. Yeah, so actually, uh, directors are my mom and dad. And who are the employees? <laughs> so my uh, friends, college students are uh, working with me uh, as volunteer-based. So they are helping me so out. So you're all much older than you, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And uh, you won an award for that? Uh, yeah, so I'm getting an award uh, for the young sci youngest scientist in India, uh, led by Mukesh Ambani, sir, and Elon Musk, sir. Holy cow. Fabulous. So what's so special about your drone that no other drone in the world has for landmines? Yeah, so actually this technology isn't available anywhere in the world from 60 years. Many uh, researchers are trying to develop uh, this kind of technology which can detect all kind of landmines. So uh, uh, from two years of hard work and God gift, uh, I uh, uh, completed five to six iterations of this drone and I managed to complete uh, uh, a technology which can detect all kind of landmines and destroy it remotely. So military can uh, sit to their ground station and can control all the things. And uh, uh, right now we filed five to six patents uh, for this project and uh, we hope that we could go on uh, for the international one. Wow, you're working with the South Koreans. Uh, actually, uh, my uh, dream is to provide this technology to India first. So I'm working with Indian Army and CRPF, but uh, <coughs> uh, South Korean Army, uh, they are also human like us. So why, so why we uh, do not save their lives as well? What about the North Koreans? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to put you on the spot, okay? <laughs> we may both get into trouble. Okay. So, uh, I don't know what to say, Harsh. I mean, it, it's just mind-blowing. You, you remind me of, you know, I read that biography of Dr. Mashelka, can correct me, of, of uh, Richard Feynman from, uh, from a young age doing all these experiments and observing ants and all the rest of it. You seem to be the tech version of him. But anyway, what do young people, your colleagues in school, boys, girls, do you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. Sorry, mother, but... Boys and girls, when they look at you, you know, CNR Rao told me the other day, Bharat Ratna, CNR right. Rao, that when he was 11 years old, uh, C.V. Raman walked into the classroom and spoke about Madame Curie. And uh, Professor Rao said, I didn't particularly understand what he was saying, but it suddenly struck me that I want to be like him. So when kids look at you, or even older people look at you, uh, what do they have to do to be like you? So, uh, actually, uh, always used to be different and uh, you should never give up on anything you're working on. So, in the past, uh, uh, when I started this project, I failed many, many times. And uh, I, I think uh, this is not going to work, but I never gave up. So, uh, I, 
finally completed this project and uh, second thing many people uh, told me that this is a really impossible task many uh, big companies uh, uh, big tech companies ceo told me that this is impossible to do and this is uh, not possible to uh, complete uh, the entire thing but um, uh, i did it so take the impossible task first it is impossible for the world uh, not for me not for you who wants to build something thank you amazing huh? amazing